joining me now is Terry McAuliffe, Democratic candidate for governor, who previously served, of course, as governor, but was limited to a single term under Virginia law. Well, Governor. Great to be back with you. Great to, great to have you yeah. back. Uh, the momentum seems to be in what was thought to be the challenger. He's a newcomer to politics, but very well funded, self funded. Yeah. So, what is making the difference? Are you, are you facing a lot of headwinds because of the gridlock on Capitol Hill? And frankly, the, you know, the problems that the Biden White House is having. As you know, this is always a close race. For 44 years, the party that wins the White House, the other party wins the governor's mansion. The one time it didn't happen was when you, when I did, when it you did it in 2013. So I'm going to do it again this time, make okay. history again. But I think the biggest thing, and last night was a total game changer. It was one of the saddest things I've ever seen. So at a Yunkin rally, hosted, as you said, there by Steve Bannon, they started off by doing Pledge of Allegiance to a flag that was up here on January 6th for the insurrection. That alone is disqualified, and Glenn Youngkin has not come out and condemned that. Then President Trump calls in and says, Glenn Youngkin's going to do what we tell him to do. Now, we've lived through the insanity of Donald Trump for four years. Glenn Youngkin has said, so much of the reason I'm running is because of Donald Trump. Really? He has, for eight months, the only thing he's had on his website, election integrity. Not jobs, not education. And he has doubled down on all this Trump insanity on conspiracy theories about the 2020 election. He said the other day he wants Virginia's machines to be audited. It's all of this craziness from Trump and the conspiracy theories. And that's just not who we are as Virginians. I got 20 serious plans. People were happy as governor. I raised, uh, got 200,000 new jobs. Personal income went up 14 percent. I protected women's rights. He is going to ban abortions. We got him on tape saying that wants to ban abortions in Virginia. And I'll tell you, Andrew, that's a real issue for everyone today. For 50 years, we thought the Supreme Court would protect everybody with Roe v. Wade. Trump's Supreme Court, if Glenn Youngkin is elected governor of Virginia, abortions will cease. And I got to tell you, it's dangerous for women, dangerous for doctors, and you can't bring businesses. I've recruited Amazon to Virginia. They're not coming to a state that discriminates. Well, that said, Congress, the Democrats in Congress, the White yeah. House, not doing you any favors. Because they need to get a deal done here. Well, what's, you know. I mean, I'm very vocal, as you know. I've been, uh, I'm a very authentic person. I speak what I think, and I think people appreciate that. You know, they were elected to get things done. We passed an infrastructure so, bill, 69 votes so in the So why Senate. should independent voters vote for you in Virginia if they see the leadership, the Democratic leadership, can't get anything done in Washington? Well, they know one thing about me. I get things done. I mean, look at all the Republicans who've endorsed me. Bill Kristol, the leading conservative, endorsed me the other day. So I work in a bipartisan. I get things done. Now, if I were running the show here, I'd get everybody in a room. But what do you want Joe Biden to do? Let's get everybody in a room, lock the door. What do you need? What do you need? And let's get this thing done. I'll tell you why. Seven billion dollars for roads in Virginia in the infrastructure bill. You know, all these folks up here, you know, they love to go out and do their press conferences. Do your job. Vote and get this done. We need it in Virginia. We need it in America. And that's why people, as I say, Republicans, Democrats, independent, they all support me. I got things done. I don't care what you put. Well, you're, you're coming out really hard against the president and the way he's been managing these negotiations. Are you going to have him come and campaign for you? Absolutely. And let me, first of all, let me thank President Biden, who just gave us $14.3 billion from the American When, when is he coming? Uh, he's coming. Let me say that. Uh, I don't want to get out of the White House. You know, we have President Obama coming in next week. I got the first lady tomorrow, Jill Biden, Dr. Jill Biden. Be with us. I got Stacey Abrams on Sunday. Um, I've got uh, Keisha Lance Bottoms, the mayor of Atlanta, in on Sunday. So everybody's coming in to help. People need to understand, Andrew, this is a critical election. It is a critical election because we've got someone who is a total Trump wannabe. Literally, his whole campaign has been about Donald Trump. He's been endorsed by Trump five times. He said he's honored to receive his endorsement. And then last night, here's Trump saying he's going to do whatever he wants you to. Well, we don't want that divisive politics anymore. And it's just so disgraceful that they had this rally. Literally do the Pledge of Allegiance to a flag up there. People fighting for democracy. I am so proud. I am the son of Army Captain Jack McAuliffe. I am a proud father of a Marine Captain Jack McAuliffe. People have fought and died to protect the right for democracy. And these thugs go up here on January 6th and destroy. And people died. Law enforcement died. And they use a flag that they want to destroy. The flag of the symbol of democracy. They were pledging allegiance. 
to a flag that they wanted to use up there to destroy our democracy. Let me ask you, how Glenn Youngkin you is unfit to be governor. It is disqualified. He needs to come out today and say it was wrong to do Pledge of Allegiance to that flag. And I want him to come out and say January 6th insurrection was wrong. Well, let me ask you, what did you mean when you said that parents had no role in coming into schools in one of the debates? That yeah, parents, listen, I'm a father of five children. Of course parents have a role in education. We all do. But what we need to do on education, and my plan is, listen, a Fox poll out the other day, a double-digit lead with parents for Terry McAuliffe. You know why? Because I did a record investment in education last time. I have a $2 billion plan that I want to take education forward. I want to raise teacher pay. I want to get the 40,000 at-risk students pre-K. I want every child to have broadband. Glenn Youngkin's plan on education, his plan, 43,000 teachers will be cut. Don't take my word for it. Read the Washington well, Post editorial, three independent studies that say his plan will cut 43,000. You know, if you want broadband, they should have signed that infrastructure bill. infrastructure bill. Right off the bat, I get $100 million in Virginia. Next day. He's a Democrat in the White House. I think you let's know his get, phone uh, number. My message to everybody, you know, let's get everybody in a room. We can get this figured out. But, you know, it's not about me and it's not about the upcoming election. Andrew, this is about who we are as Americans. That's why I'm so offended at what they did last night. It just offends me as, a, as an American, the way they keep running down. You know, Glenn Youngkin talks about critical race theory. You know what? It's not taught in Virginia. And it's a r racist dog whistle. And I, I, I unite people. I, as you know, I bring everybody together. That's why so many Republicans have endorsed me. From the start of his campaign, he's run down our state. He's run down our education system. He's run down our economy. That's not what people want. They want someone who's going to lift everybody up. When I am governor, the state is going to take off like a booster rocket. Well, speaking of boosters, we're going to have to boost on. But, oh, okay. you know. And I'm come just come back up. soon. I got more energy today than the day I was born. I'm ready to go. You are a rocket ship. Yeah. Yeah.